Hey everybody, welcome back today. So uh, we gotta go on a little road trip. I won an auction, again. So I got this Massey Ferguson 2200 fork truck tractor, unknown working conditions, and a Massey Ferguson 12 lawnmower, non-running condition, for parts or scrap. You know, Two, three months ago, I couldn't find one of those Massey Ferguson lawnmowers to save my life. Now I got two of them. And I had to have that forklift. I, I don't have a forklift. And I might need to lift something higher than Little John will lift it. And I might have to move a pallet. And Little John's not capable of doing that. So I saw this and uh, I thought, perfect. I'll buy a non-running, parts unknown condition forklift. Let's just go get this thing and see what we got ourselves into. So a friend and I went out and looked at this uh, auction site the other last week. And I'm going to tell you what, guys, this there's a lot of junk out there. And I wanted to bid on about, I don't know, a handful of those tractors because I thought, hey, that's cool stuff. I could maybe make a couple videos on some of these, maybe move some of them down the road. Some of them need to be moved directly to the scrapyard, and that's as far as they needed to go. But this forklift, I mean... It's one of the few things where I could actually, I could grab the fan and the engine would roll over. So that's, that's okay. And the Ferguson lawnmower, again, the engine rolled over. It doesn't do much else. There's no deck or anything and all the tires are flat. It's probably been sitting outside since the 80s, but hey, that's got my name all over it. But we're going to concern ourselves with the forklift today because I'm going to need that in my immediate future here. You see, I still have no barn built yet, but... I tell you what, when they do come out to build it, they did say I needed some special equipment to lift these trusses 16 feet in the air. My little John's not capable of that, so I thought, well, why rent special equipment for $2,000 when I can buy special equipment for a lot less than that? I hope I can get it running. There. Well, there, we got her on the trailer. That's nine-tenths of the battle. I wish I knew that tire was flat. It wasn't flat when I come out here before, but oh well. We'll get her home. And guys, we're making headway. We should be home in another, oh, half hour or so. Gotta thank Scott for, this is the same fellow that hauled my 5010 home when I got that. So it is, it is nice to have some good friends in the tractor community that are willing to help you out when you have to have something move because you're too cheap to buy a trailer and pick up truck to move stuff. <laughs> but maybe someday I'll find a wheel to start semi in a low boy and I'll be able to move this stuff on my own. But anyway, let's get this thing to the house and get working. There, this will maybe make it. Hopefully this thing will take some air. So far, so good. I don't
Well, guys, here we are a day later now. Um, I decided I didn't want to work on this last night because it was just raining and miserable, and then it's still windy, but I'll take the wind. Maybe it'll dry up some of this mud. <laughs> um, so let's look at a few things here. All right, so right off the bat, now that I've, I, here's the thing, guys. I don't know anything about this, and I don't know anything about industrial massies that much. I haven't spent much time with them. I'm more used to stuff like that, but can't be that much different except for a little bit, right? Right. So here's some things I think I learned. Now, I don't, I was studying the pedals. Looks like I got two gas pedals. They both seem to do exactly the same thing back here. I got two brake pedals over there, which neither one work. I'm guessing that I got one for raise and lower, one for tilt. I'm just, again, guessing. Forward, back, no, opposite, backward, frontward, shovel shift. The other lever, I'm just guessing, is high and low. Could be wrong about all these things, but it's just what, what I'm learning here. Um, engine's got oil in it. It doesn't look very nice, and it's not over full. So, I mean, I guess that's probably means it doesn't have a ton of water in it. So you get into there. Come on. It's got something in there. We'll just put that right back on there. Now we have here a little Z134 Continental engine. It does roll over. That was really the only thing that I had time to dig into when I was looking at this thing. Because, you know, they've got 60,000 things at this auction and nobody knows anything about any of it except for the guy has passed and I can't ask him about anything. So, but I mean, everything's intact. It's complete. Looking at this, this maybe a parking brake? I don't know. This goes down to whatever the hell that is. Somebody, well, I know one of you guys are going to know the answer to that, but I don't know. Oh, here's a, what's this? That's a dipstick. Hydraulic oil, transmission oil. Well, it's got some. That's good. We'll put that back in. Okay. So, I mean, it's got fluids in it. That's a good indication that maybe this thing has been used. And when I say recently, I mean, take that with a grain of salt. Recently could have been two years ago or ten years ago. I don't really know. I do like the back tires on this. These might end up on my 165 because they are too good for this piece of junk. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll burn that bridge when we get there. But like I said, guys, a lot of things I kind of don't really know about this. Um, so I guess at this point, oh, I did. You, you got to see this. Look at look at the craftsmanship here. Floor fittings to get to power steering line. Somebody put some thought into that. There's no question about it. So I guess let me. Like I say, guys, if this thing will just run and lift stuff, I don't need it to do a whole heck of a lot more than that. It ain't like I'm going to be out plowing fields with it, so I don't need it to run for eight hours a day or ten hours a day. The other thing that I kind of a little concerned about, that is an eight, as in 8,043 hours on this. 8,043 hours on a gas continental. That's... That's well beyond what should be allowed, <laughs> but whatever. Price was right, and I needed a forklift. So, so that being said, guys, it is what it is. Sometimes at the auction you win, and sometimes you just think you win. So let's see. I think the first thing I want to do is I got to get a battery in this. See what we got for gasoline. There's another problem here. So. Here's where the battery goes in, and I don't know what kind of battery you're going to fit in this little area, but it ain't going to be any battery that I've got, so 
I think we'll just pull the hood right off the whole shooting match here. If I can. Well, there, that's easy. We'll just move him out of the way. Up over that, over that, that's, there we go. One of these times a buddy might come in handy, but well, I make do. just set this out of the way for now. Let's see, this is positive side, negative Nancy, we'll just stick, nope, backwards full, there we go. So, here we go, got some battery. Put the muffler back on. I'm gonna turn it this way for speed. That's better. Okay, well, does the key work? I'm gonna guess there's a big no on that because, well, you can't see this. It's got a wire hanging off and no, the key does nothing. Super. Let me. Fortunately, I've got everything I need right here. Starter, hot wire. What we got going on here? Okay, so they got the... Uh, let's get him close enough. Oh, for Pete's sake, come on. I just want to be out of the way of the wheels in case it moves. <laughs> I'll take that. Rolls over. Good enough for me. If this kit pops off again, get on there, you. Just stay. Let's, uh, well, the key doesn't do anything to start, but maybe the on position works. Let's, let's see if it's, holy crap. This thing's got a full tank of fuel in it, guys, and It smells a little wonky, but I mean, it is a full tank of fuel. We're running it. Someone, as I was looking over here last night, someone was wise enough to turn off the gas on this thing. So maybe the carburetor isn't all full of gunk and whatever else well guys I don't even I guess before I get crazy doing a bunch of stuff I'm gonna turn the gas on and I I don't know anything about that key I'll just turn it to the on position turn the gas on And uh, I guess we'll just hit the button, see if anything happens. I can't believe it will, because it's, let's see. All right, well, there we go, son. <laughs> There's no way. No way. What in the? Ho, ho, 
This thing does a lot of good. Well, how about that? I, I can't believe, if I wasn't sitting right here and just watched that happen, I wouldn't believe it. Now, yeah, it does. It does run pretty bad, but it runs. The shuttle doesn't seem to want to shuttle it. I got it backwards, then it didn't want to roll forwards. Now I got it forwards, doesn't want to roll backwards. I'm sure there's something to it. I don't know what it is though, so. Huh. Now what am I gonna do? I mean, yeah, the engine's, that's in pretty rough shape. It seems like it was blown by a lot. I would expect nothing less. This is really quite something, guys. Main thing I like the most, the forks go up and down, and that's, that was really my main thing. That's kind of what I needed to have happen. It would be nice if it would go backwards and frontwards, you know, when I need it to do those things. I'm guessing, and I'll have to study a little bit. I, hmm, now I got, now I'm thinking, now my gears are turning. Let me get my little trusty starter here. Okay, we'll get you right there. Let's uh, put that there. Turn the gas back on. Put this key switch that doesn't work back in, so it'll work. Well, let's. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Never mind, I'm, I'm the idiot here. One pedal goes backwards, one pedal goes forward. Okay. Now I know how it works. Like I said, guys, I know basically nothing about that. Well, <laughs> I'm learning. So let's uh, investigate. So yeah, we've got there's uh, an unholy amount of robot. But again, like I said, I don't need this thing to run for eight hours a day. Carburetor needs a little adjustment. We'll take some of this water out of it. But, uh, this, is, this is really something. I would, not upset about my purchase in the least right now. I gotta get some air in that one front tire and then let's take this for a little spin. I can tell you this if nothing else, that oil change sure ain't gonna hurt that thing one bit. 
How about that? Old JT's got a forklift. <laughs> Outstanding. Carburetor's gonna need a little work. She drips gas all over the place. As I expected, because it kinda don't run very good, but hey, it runs. That's, <laughs> I tell you what, of all the things I did not expect to go that way today, that's top of the list. Hey, I'll take it. It's Friday. Might as well be a great Friday. Well, friends, I don't know what else to say. I mean, that was the easiest will it start video I've ever done with basically a piece of junk I know nothing about. Now, uh, obviously, the engine's shot. This thing's on its last leg. But you know what? Last leg is still a leg. That's all I care. And again, I don't think it matters that much. It ain't like I'm going to be driving this thing for eight hours at a time. It's just going to be fired up lift something in the air, put it back. And uh, that is, that's awesome. I just, I can't believe that. I don't know. Obviously, I'm going to have to probably change the oil because that is in really rough shape. And I need to put a key switch in it because the one that I have doesn't work. I wish one of you guys would have told me that uh, one gas pedal's for forward, one gas pedal's for backward because, you know, that makes me feel dumb, but... Well, you know, guys, can't all be first draft picks, right? So, guys, I guess, hey, sorry for the uh, easy will it start video today. Um, you know, sometimes you got to win one. They can't all be that. But I got to show you this. So, there's, there's a. So, yeah, guys, that was a good auction buy for what I needed. Now, I don't know that I'm going to be as lucky with. This one, this was the other thing I bought at that auction. For 50 bucks, I couldn't not buy it. But this one's a little bit more, um, oh, that lever works. Variable doesn't work, but we'll get to this one another time. The engine does turn over. But yeah, like I said, guys, 
couldn't couldn't find one of these to save my life here two months ago and now i got two of them so yay me that's a good win right there and i still got to finish up with the old kardashian sister here but we'll get to that so guys i guess that's gonna do it for me we'll have to think of a name for this little gem but uh hit runs. Thanks for forking around with me today, guys. We'll see you next time. Tell me a sound that's better than this.